A former chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff said in an interview Sunday that he worries North Korea might actually use its nuclear weapons if it can fully develop them. He pointed to the unpredictability of the regime's leader, Kim Jong-un, who might see nukes as a way to secure his position. Oh Jung-hee has more. A former top U.S. military official has warned that North Korea may not stop at obtaining full nuclear capability, but go further and actually use it. In an interview with ABC News on Sunday, Mike Mullen, former chairman of U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, said uncertainty has risen on the Korean Peninsula mainly because of the rhetoric that's been exchanged. He said North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is working hard to fully develop nuclear weapons and that he'll get there short of some form of deterrence. He added, though the Trump administration has strongly addressed this issue right from the day of President Trump's inauguration and has created options, it's still very difficult to know what's actually happening within the regime. Mullen said his quote, scared to death, because if Kim sees using nuclear weapons as a way to solidify his future, then he could potentially use them. But North Korea watchers in South Korea believe there's no possibility Kim Jong-un will actually use nuclear weapons. It's realistically not simple for North Korea to use its nuclear weapons for real. But I think it will be possible for the North to use its nuclear capability as a bargaining chip when discussing dialogue or sanctions with the international community. North Korea has recently claimed that its nuclear development is aimed at achieving a balance of power with the U.S. The regime's official newspaper, Rodong Shinmun, reported on Sunday that Pyongyang's nuclear weapons target no country but the U.S. and that other countries do not need to fear them. Pyongyang stressed that its nuclear capability is what protects the Asia-Pacific region from U.S. ambitions to rule the region and that it brings peace and security. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.